Hi, this is a follow-on video from the Knots and Crosses tutorial. Um, this is actually a completed version that's actually currently in use on, on the website. Uh, I've got a few variables at the top uh, that basically say uh, whether the move's already been made and things like that. Um, that's just for the, the turn and then we've got a your score, the computer score and amount of draws. Uh, which means that um, w when you're playing against the computer it'll keep track of your score and update the labels and things like that to, to keep, help keep track of it so as you can see from the last one I've got a button one dot click two all the way through to nine and in each one again I've got button one if button one dot text equals blank and button one dot text equals a circle and then hit the computer's turn right now in um, computers turn I've got all computers checked and to check if you've won in all computer checks as you can see there's quite a few uh, checks first of all it, it sets move made to false uh, that's so later on while it's in the middle of functions it can come back and if a move made is true then it'll say the computers in this case uh, the computers won uh, because the first thing it does is check if a computer can win the next move. Now to do that, it basically runs quite a few if statements. As you can see, there's quite a few here. Uh, if you want to post these on my site, just drop me a post and I'll I'll, I'll pop them on there or, or send them across to you. Um, but basically, um, if for, for a start, if button 1 is X and button 2 is X and button 3 is blank, uh, then that means that um, it can go in button 3 and it's already got a cross in button 2 and button 1 which means if it goes in button 3 it's 1 uh, but obviously if it can't do that if it can do that it'll put an X in there and move made equals true and then back here we're checking if move made equals true after it's done that checked all those moves then it adds the game over label to say it's one adds one score onto it and restarts the game okay uh, and it does basically the same check for uh, all the ways across but button t one two and three uh, the, the three combinations of the buttons obviously if the first one is blank uh, it's the same circumstance and then the same on the second row and then the third row and then it has to check down obviously button one uh, four and seven to check if it can win that way. And once it's done all those checks, it checks if you can win next move because obviously if you can, then it needs to stop you. But obviously it doesn't matter if uh, if you can win next move if the computer can win this move because you won't get a chance to make your move anyway, which is why it does the check to see if it can move first. So then it needs to check if you can win next move, and if you can, it basically does the exact same thing as it does to check if it it can win next move. Um, except it's checking for circles this time. Okay, so that code is should all be very familiar. Then basically, all it needs to do if it, if you if it can't win next move and you can't win next move, we've got to check for blank space. Uh, but I believe it may do something else first. Yeah, so we've got to check if computer can win in two turns. So before it checks for a blank space, it will actually run this check of computer has one. Sorry. Uh, check if computer can win in two turns. This is the part it'll run next. Uh, so obviously, if uh, button one dot text is cross and that one and that one is blank, button two and three are blank, then it can win in two turns. So it puts a cross in that one. Uh, and the same for all the other combinations, same as above. Uh, that's just the restart game uh, function, just to set everything back to the way it should have been. And then here's something: the check if you have one. Uh, runs after every turn that you make um, because obviously if you've won then the computer doesn't want to uh, make its next move it just does a you have won so what it needs to do to check if you've won is if any combination of the three lines across down etc have all got circles in then obviously it returns true which means that you've won and then it just needs to do the same thing check if it's a draw in other words, if it's got to any point and uh, there's no blank cells left, then it's a draw. So it just says draw, draws equals draws plus one to keep track of the score. 
and this is just the uh, the restart game it just sets everything back to null and that's it that's the full code of again if if you um want to see this in more detail just look at post on my site and um, i'll be happy to help you i'll go into a bit more detail if you like thank you